Weather so far this spring has given gardeners headaches. Yeah, lots of plants even had to deal with frost last week. It all adds up to a lot of questions for the experts at Lords and Gardens. KTV News Watch 7's Amanda Crawford takes us to their annual plant sale. Rows and rows of blooming flowers. I came here one time and I saw the beautiful flowers and I thought, well, maybe I can do something like that. Lords and Gardens can be an inspiration for some people, for others, a getaway. Peaceful, very peaceful. You come here, you get good exercise, you get the sun. You get a little bit of everything, all in one place. So serene, people who don't even garden can appreciate it. I love looking at other people's plants because I don't have them, so I'm kind of living vicariously through this place. So people can find peace and quiet here, and they can also find answers to pretty much any of their questions, including ones about this year's late frost. If they're a little bit bitten by the cold, they can try trimming off anything that's dead and seeing if it'll pull out of it. Melissa Burdick is the director of horticulture at the gardens. She says if the plant is mostly withered, you'll probably just have to buy new ones. But the time to do that is right now. Spring is definitely a fantastic planting time, especially for perennials and annuals. When temperatures get into the high 70s or the 80s, you really want to have most of your planting done by then, so you're just in a watering mode to keep things alive. Which is why Marcy is ready to get her garden going. Just the more colorful, the better. So I've been trying all different kinds. At Lawrence and Gardens, Amanda Crawford, KETV Newswatch 7. The proceeds from this weekend's garden sale help fund Lawrence and Gardens. They tell us this is the only plant sale they have during the year because they don't want to compete with local nurseries.